CMC, he's burned so many people the last two years because of injuries that people have almost forgotten how great he is. At least I think they have. Like if you look at 2019, he had dude had almost 1400 rushing yards, 15 rushing touchdowns, 116 catches for a thousand yards receiving and four more touchdowns. So combined, he damn near had 2,400 total yards and 19 touchdowns. That was three years ago. And he's been hurt the last two years. And it's not like he has had like significant like injuries that are going to stick with him long term. Like he pulled a hamstring. He's, he, you know, he, he's gotten dinged up. But from my perspective, it's almost like it's almost saved him for this coming season. I think back to like Joe Mixon last year where, where people have been down on him because he kept getting hurt. And then he finally put together a healthy season and was a top three running back. I think you have to draft people as if they're going to stay healthy. Understanding that, the, that there's an injury history here. I get that, but I don't think you should let it talk yourself out of taking Christian McCaffrey. The upside is too high. He's had, he had two seasons with over hundred catches. I, I, I don't know what you want for a running back. He's, he's absolutely nasty. He is nasty, and that's why he's locked in at the number two overall for me, uh, not just at running back, but number two overall. So I agree. Uh, I just, you know, to me, he doesn't even come close to sniffing my uh, – like I, I, I didn't even think for a second about putting him at number one overall ahead of Jonathan Taylor. Um, hasn't been healthy in two years. Yeah, he's been dinged up. It's a subpar offense compared to Indy. Matt Rule has not been able to prove he can get anything going until they got Baker. And even with Baker, like, I don't know, is that offense going to go out there and be lights out every week? Um, Probably not. So I, they're also, you know, one of the lesser competitive teams in that conference. So it's just the points per game and everything else aside, like he would have to have just an obscene target share with Baker to have a chance at overtaking Taylor. So Baker's like checking down to hunt the last couple of years. I I will say, I I mean, I, I will say this too, though, like, John, in half PPR last year, Jonathan Taylor averaged 20.8 points per week. In games that CMC started and finished them, I, he came out in two of them. But in, in games that he started and finished, he averaged 20.1 points. Like, they were incredibly close in yeah. half PPR because of all those catches. Yeah. Like, and and what the, like Christian McCaffrey only had two touchdowns in, in the five games that he finished. Like... Uh, th- the upside is incredible and it, there's no reason why you should fall past two. I hope you can get like, if he falls to three, four or five, like just say thanks because he shouldn't, he, he, he just shouldn't. 